Hello, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com and the US Tech Channel. Today I have the LG WCP-700 wireless uh, charger in front of me. Someone requested that I do a video of how to remove the speaker or disable it uh, from this. And originally there was no way I would have done this because I didn't have any problems with it. But uh, then I got the OtterBox Defender case on my Droid DNA and I found out that it would continually stop charging, charge again, and beep. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove this. Uh, I've gotten a knife and a screwdriver here. I'm pretty much prying up these little rubber feet that are on the device. Try not to destroy them with this tactical knife. So if you get something that is a little less sharp than this, uh, I'll probably work a little better. Hopefully I won't be taking this apart multiple times. Anyways, so there we go. We got the four uh, feet out. Go ahead and use this tiny screwdriver to remove these screws. Someone mentioned that when they remove the speaker that their device won't charge without or with a case on it anymore so we're gonna try to be really careful not to destroy more than just the speaker however we're gonna try to make sure that we do indeed disable the speaker so go ahead and pry around the edges It feels like there's four snaps. So that's the back side of the case, but we'll be working with the other side here. One, two, three. And here's our fourth screw. Go ahead and poke that out. So now we're going to be dealing with this board right here. I do plan on taking one of these out and actually trying to use it on a vehicle mount. Let's take these four screws out. Go ahead and flip this over. Being real gentle. You don't want to destroy anything and it seems like the speaker box is actually this right here it's labeled KP S09 QS I'll be really careful not to cut myself but you can see that there's a little notch where you should be able to kind of pry up on this and it's right where the sticker is If you do decide to cut, make sure that you're cutting away from yourself. Now that I've gotten in there a little, I'm going to go ahead and switch to a flat blade. So it looks like this little speaker is what's responsible for all the noise. Usually I just try to like unsolder everything, but we don't know what connections depend on this. Okay, so I've used circular motions with the screwdriver. Pretty much made a mangled mess out of that. Go ahead and place this back down. Go ahead and apply power to it again. And I'll put my droid DNA on top of it and see if it still charges. So now you can see it says wireless charger detected, but no noise. So that's probably the desired effect for most people. 
You'll just have visual feedback on your phone and via the LEDs on whether or not the device is charging. So for more information on stuff like this and more, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.